Assalamu alaikum, I am Dr. Hassan Saeed and I welcome you all at WebDoc Health Session. As you know that in the last video session we have started discussing about the abdominal quadrants regions and the specific pain related to that quadrants or the regions. I told you earlier that abdomen has divided into nine different quadrants by two vertical and two horizontal lines. And in the last video session, we have discussed about the right hypochondrium region and the pain associated with gallbladder and the condition was known as cholelithiasis. We have discussed cholelithiasis in detail in the last video session. Today we are going to discuss about the epigastrium region of the abdomen. So first of all, let me tell you where epigastrium region is located. Epigastrium region is the topmost central area or the quadrant of the abdomen in between two hypochondrium, right and left hypochondrium, just below your ribs. The contents of the epigastrium includes duodenum, part of the liver, part of the stomach and pancreas. And today the condition we are going to discuss is gastritis. It is a very common condition that is taking place in our society and it is related to stomach. Gastritis is the inflammation of the lining of the stomach. Sometimes it takes place for of a short duration but sometimes it remains for a longer period of the time. If we discuss about the symptoms, some patients remain asymptomatic, but sometimes it is associated with the pain. Pain in the epigastrium region or pain in the topmost upper central area of the abdomen. The pain can be dull, sharp, burning or aching in nature. Sometimes it is associated with nausea and vomiting. Vomiting can be of clear fluids, yellowish or greenish, or sometimes blood streaked. Other symptoms include bloating, heartburn, loss of appetite, and unexplained weight loss. Now let's discuss about the causes. There are two most common causes of gastritis. Number one is Helicobacter pylori infection, the organism that leads towards the gastritis, and other is the excessive use of painkillers, NSAIDs non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Other causes that are less common includes alcohol consumption, smoking, cocaine use and some few autoimmune diseases. Now let's talk about complications. Complication includes bleeding, stomach ulcers, stomach cancers or tumors or pernicious anemia. Now the prevention. Prevention is the most important heading in discussing any disease or any condition. You can prevent gastritis by dairy modifications, by your dietary modifications or lifestyle modifications. If you are a smoker, quit smoking. Alcohol uh, consumption should be avoided or cocaine uh, consumption should be avoided. You must avoid spicy food or excessive use of coffee. You have to add on dairy products in your diet on daily basis. If you are having these symptoms or pain in the epigastrium region or in the upper most central area of the abdomen, you have to call your web dog doctor on immediate basis for the effective treatment. That's all for today. Thank you for listening or watching. Keep sharing this video as much as you can. Subscribe our channel. Stay blessed.